I'm going to show you a cool new feature in Canvas that actually allows you to run reports um, like missing assignments. So the first thing I need to do in my course is you probably need to turn this setting on because chances are you don't have it enabled already. And I can do that by going into an individual course and I'm going to scroll down to settings. And in settings, there's an option up here at the top called feature options. So the one you want is one here called new course and user analytics. So right now it's turned off with the X. I can click on it and tell it to enable that. Now, once I've done that, I can go back to my home page, and I now have an option that shows up on the right hand side here that says new analytics. And when I click on that, this is going to give me some basic grade information. So I could look at the overall um, average course grade for all of my sections. Um, and I can kind of see how these things pan out and I can go in here and I can simply add other sections so I can see how first hour is doing uh, compared to everybody else. And if I hovered over any of these, this will give me uh, exact uh, grades based on what that assignment is and how that's scored. Uh, and if I wanted to, I can even hit these three dots and I could have it show uh, data table information, which shows the score of all sections with the percentage of um, how this particular hour did on this assignment. So I can also hit the download button to be able to download that as an Excel spreadsheet. Now, um, I can go to weekly online activity, and this will show me how much students in my class are participating. So I can see every single file that exists in my course. Um, these could be current assignments, these could be a page of text, this could be an image, this could be um, anything. And I can see exactly how many times somebody has uh, clicked it or um, participated, which means they had to submit something or comment or um, do some kind of interaction with that individual thing. And I can click and search for individual students or even specific sections if I needed to. I can also click on the student tab. The student tab will show me each individual student in the class, their grade, their percentage of turning in their work on time, their last time they participated in the class, last the page view, um, the total number of page views for a student, and the total participations, uh, which again are like comments or submissions. I can even click on these and it will organize or sort um, by that. So I can tell this student had the most page views out of anybody in my course. Now, when I go to reports, I have a series of reports I can run that will generate a spreadsheet for me. So, for example, if I do a missing assignments or a late or excused assignment report, I can run this report. And by default, it will show me all students who are missing assignments um, in my entire course. Now, if I wanted to, I could filter for uh, a specific assignment or a specific section or a specific student if I wanted to. Uh, but by default, if I leave no filters on, it'll run a report for the entire um, course. Now, this is going to create a spreadsheet. So I can then open up that spreadsheet in whatever spreadsheet app I prefer. I could throw it into Google Sheets. I could throw it into Excel, or I have numbers open here. And this is going to give me all the data of the student's name, their ID information, and then all of the information that was missing. Now, because it's a spreadsheet, I can do all kinds of fun spreadsheet stuff to this. So I could go ahead and uh, sort these by uh, due date. Uh, so I could put them in order by those and get rid of things from previous semesters or um, maybe delete rows of students who aren't here anymore or whatever information that I want. So. Um, I can go ahead and adjust or re-sort or readjust any of this information because it's just a live active spreadsheet that I can save and do whatever I want. I can also run class rosters, which works the same way, um, either one of this entire course, or I can filter it by individual sections if I wanted to, or I can run what's called a course activity report, uh, which again will just show me how many times people have participated or how many times people have um, just clicked on things in my course. So again, if I'm preparing for conferences, maybe I want to look at a specific date or a specific student's name, and I wanted to see exactly how many times this individual student um, participated or was active in my course. This will then run a spreadsheet, which when I open will show me 
every single time that this student um, looked at something, how many times they viewed it, how many times they participated, uh, and so on. So all of this is pretty cool, but my favorite part um, with any of this has to do in these first two tabs with what they call messaging. So if I go over here to course grade and I tap this message students who email button, what this allows me to do is I can send a message to all students who are maybe failing my class and it'll change from the total number, which was 23 to now two, which means two students are failing. Um, it BCCs those students, so I can type in my subject and message and hit send, and they get BCC'd so they won't be able to see each other's uh, responses. I could do the same thing with missing work, so I can see anyone who was missing assignments or anyone who's turned in assignments late. I could go ahead and again, enter all that information in there, if I wanted to remove a student, I could simply click on a name and I could X out any individual student I may want to remove and then type my message and hit send. Now I can do the same thing with weekly online activity. So if I go to my weekly online activity tab and then I tip on message who, I can say message students who haven't viewed a specific resource. So these are all the different pages or different things that are in my course. So these could be PDFs, these could be assignments, this could be a page of content. And so if I choose one of these, I could choose any student who viewed or who didn't view this assignment. So in this case, there are five students who did not view this assignment. I could go ahead and send them a message uh, and ask them why. Same thing goes with participation. So I could choose an individual assignment and see who's participated and who didn't participate in that assignment. And again, send them a message inquiring as to why. So that is the new analytics tool. Again, you have to turn it on per course in your settings. And once you've turned it on, the button will be on your homepage.